Mrs. Han, why do we have to go to the naturalization celebration while Mr. Schwamskos gets to go to the zoo? Because, Joe, for learning about citizenship and naturalization, this is the place to be. What's the point? I don't even know what citizenship means. Well, I bet we're going to find out. You'll have fun. I hereby declare on oath. I hereby declare on oath that I will support and defend that I will support and defend So Mrs. Bowman, what is naturalization? That's a great question, Caleb. Were you born an American citizen? No, I wasn't. You were? So you might become naturalized someday. You thinking about that? Sure. Well then let's talk about what naturalization is. Naturalization is the process by which anyone who wasn't born an American citizen learns about our culture, learns about our history, learns about our government, our laws, and then applies to and becomes an American citizen. And America, being a citizen of this country, meant that the rights of the people were, as Jefferson said, um, inalienable. He said in the Declaration that really funny word, but it meant that no one, nobody, no power can take those away from you. And Jefferson was very aware of that. And I think that was why citizenship meant so much to Thomas Jefferson. To me, citizenship, whether you're born in the United States or you're a naturalized citizen, which means you were born somewhere else and go through the process to become a citizen, means two things. It means that you have rights, and we always talk about our rights. We talk a lot about we have the right to free speech, for example. But citizenship also means responsibilities. So as a citizen, we have a responsibility to let our elected officials know what kinds of laws and policies we support or do not support. What does citizenship mean to you? It's pretty important to be an American citizen. Yes. Why, why would it be important to you? Well, it's important to me since I'm, of course, going to be one. And I think that the reason why many people would want to be an American is because of the opportunities that come with it. So, when and where did you become a citizen? Well, that's a great question because I actually became a citizen right here in Monticello on the 4th of July in 2005. And um, for me, it was a great coming around of the circle because when I was a little girl and I had to choose a president to do a research project on, I chose Thomas Jefferson. And this is his home. And for so many years later, for me to come to this president's home and become a citizen on the 4th of July was a great honor and a great adventure, certainly. And after a while, when, you're, when you come here and you want to become a citizen, you recognize that all the principles, all those words like liberty and freedom and opportunity, that they really mean something. And that's really what makes you become a citizen. That I will support and defend. That I will support and defend the Constitution and the laws of the United States of America. The Constitution and the laws of the United States of America.